So we're going to have a look at Philip Price's golf swing. Philip is an immensely talented ball striker. Uh, he's a former European Tour player and former Ryder Cup player. Uh, this is recent uh, footage from the 2016 Cornish Festival Pro-Am shot on day two at St. Enidoc. What we're going to do is we're going to have a quick run through of Philip's swing in its uninterrupted form and then have a look at uh, various positions and movements in his swing that he performs particularly well so we can learn something from his swing. You'll notice here in this uh, swing he's got a fantastic rhythm and he swings into a balanced finish and that kind of frustrates a lot of club golfers because uh, tour players make it look incredibly simple. So if we take his swing back to uh, the address position here, you'll notice if I draw a line up the club shaft, you'll, you'll notice that it points towards the center of the club head arc, his lead shoulder. And that simplifies his takeaway. It makes his takeaway a one-piece takeaway. So if I take that uh, line off his uh, club shaft there, what we're going to do is we're going to put some markers on his hips uh, which will help us monitor how he utilizes his body weight throughout the swing to the best of his, of his uh, advantage. So if we swing the club back now, the first thing you'll notice is that he doesn't move laterally away from the target. He stays within those hit markers. He just rotates around his spine into this kind of three-quarter position, three-quarter swing position here. Now from this position up to the top of the backswing, you'll notice that he starts a lateral movement back towards the target. He transitions his weight back into the ball, back into his lead side. You'll see that? Now that, that position there is rather like a, it's rather like a shot putter or a javelin thrower or a baseball pitcher. Getting their weight onto their lead side and use it, using their body weight as a counter lever. So they're getting their weight into their lead side so they can create tremendous torque and unleash their body rotation and the lag angle created by the lead arm and the club shaft down into impact. So it's effortlessly building a tremendous amount of uh, power into this movement here. So if I bring him now down into the downswing, you'll notice that he's getting his lead hips even further in front of the uh, hip position at address. And he starts to get more and more weight into that lead side. And from about this position here, he's starting to rotate his lead hip out of the way. He's clearing his lead hip out of the way left of the target. So his belt buckle faces to more towards the target. And from here, down into impact, you'll notice that he gets his hands in front of the line of tension. So if I draw the line of tension which connects the, uh, the club head up to his lead shoulder, you can see that he gets his lead arm and the club shaft well in front of that line of tension. Now what that means is that the ball just gets in the way of a swinging club head. He hasn't yet reached the point of full extension. So he's not hitting at the ball, he's hitting through it and past it. And that is the secret of golf. It's all about sustaining that line of tension through impact. And that's what Philip does effortlessly here by getting his weight onto his lead side before impact. And that enables him to get his lead arm and the club shaft into a really good impact position where they're leading the club head through, through the ball. So if we move him forwards a couple of frames here, you'll, only, you'll see that he only reaches the point of full extension here well after the ball has been struck. So let's take him back to impact. And you can see here that the impact position is the only critical position in the goal swing. It's the position and the, uh, and the moment when the club head imparts its direction to the golf ball. And the one thing about this is that if you locate, train and perfect this position, it will benefit all parts of your swing because the geometry of this lead arm being in front of the line of tension doesn't change, regardless of whether you're hitting a chip, a pitch, or a full shot. So I would urge you to go and visit uh, uh, the, uh, the website dstgolf.com. Just follow the link here and you can look, uh, watch a three minute video about uh, the, uh, the game changing golf club, the DST Compressor. It's a club that we launched uh, last year in January and already 17 of the top 25 players in the world are using this club to warm up and train with. So um, just click on that link. But uh, uh, well done, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing much more of Philip's swing throughout the 2016 season. I think we can all learn something from this fantastic impact position, and we'll hope to see you online again soon.